Hi guys, it's Thomas here from CO2Base.com. Welcome to a weekly CO2 review. Today we're going to be analyzing the 31st Commitments of Traders Report of 2023. And as we always do, we're going to look at the largest changes in commercials net positions. Before we jump to the review, just a brief reminder for those who are new to COT analysis here at COTBase.com, you'll find everything you need uh, for your knowledge uh, regarding the Commitments of Traders Report. We have written material, we have videos, uh, and of course we do offer or suggest certain um, resources, books, and all that. Back to the review and starting off with our first market, which is crude oil. It's on top of our list based on a 52 week look back period. So what we're doing is we're looking at this recent change in commercials net positions and we're measuring that to the past 52 weeks time range. I should mention we're analyzing the classic CO2 report type or as CFTC calls it legacy data. And we're looking at the combined futures and options data. So let's get to it. So 24%, what does that mean? Uh, of course, we are talking about a da data that is not derived from price. So you always got to open the charts and, and see visually uh, what that means. It is larger than average, but nothing too unusual. We have seen greater uh, COT changes in the past. It is bearish coming after a rally. That's good. Uh, let's move on to the five years chart and see if there's an extreme cot extreme signal but there's not if you can uh, if you look at the chart the most bearish extreme from 2018 uh, about a year later 2019 most bullish extreme we're more or less in between those two so it's really the cot change signal if anything uh, to act upon but i should uh, stop here for a second and show you the icot intraday indicator an indicator that we have developed after many many years of research uh, a wonderful tool i'm just going to show a a picture here this is crude oil on uh, a one hour candlestick chart and uh, with the icot scores similar to the cot charts that you see uh, in these reviews we developed this this is not data from cftc uh, but we do find that it can actually give us very very good signals this is a one hour candlestick chart pretty much catching the bottom and the top over here these stripe signals are the strongest uh, for one second, let me just show you here uh, under indicators, you will find a lot of uh, material explaining to you what this indicator is all about and what kind of signals uh, we have. This chart would be very helpful uh, for you if you're new to this uh, tool. Of course, we are always available by email, info at cotbase.com. You can comment underneath the video. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It does mean a lot to our channel. Uh, back to the review and moving on to our next market on the list, which is copper, a 22% change over here in commercials net positions. Once again, a bearish, uh, the red color, of course, showing us a bearish COT change signal. There is that change in commercials net positions, definitely greater than average. I'd say top 10 easily. Uh, however, we did see a bit of a decline uh, this week, so we're you know near the lows of the week. Uh, maybe it's a bit late for us to act upon. Moving to the five years chart, you can see that once again we are talking about an extreme. Uh, I mean, basically we're not talking about any extreme signal because uh, we're more or less in between the two uh, COT extremes: the most bullish over here and the most bearish somewhere over here. Uh, so that's that soybeans our next market 21 percent change in commercials net positions uh let's just wait for the chart to come up here we go we start with the one year you know what we're gonna shift to the six. we do have a data uh issue here uh so the six month may be a bit easier for us so the 21 percent change can we witness here it is a bullish chain signal luckily it's uh, coming at lows so suggesting a bit of a strengthening in the next couple of days switching to a five years chart you can see that we had a bullish extreme uh back in may uh and and you can see that the market actually reacted to that extreme uh stress levels have decreased since but we have not reached any bearish extremes so this signal is still in place and we are expecting higher prices to come in the medium to long term moving on to large speculator cot extreme well, you know what? I think we have exactly the same markets as we had last week. Uh, so palladium, uh, all-time extreme, still no surprise there. So it's a bullish extreme. 
uh, suggesting that we are very close to a bottom in this market. Exciting news, however, as in uh, any market, we do want to look at correlating markets uh, before acting on that signal. Uh, so the overall health of the metals market would be something I'd look at. Uh, but it's there. It's a bullish extreme. Uh, small speculators are relatively pessimistic about the market. That's, again, a good bullish sign. Let's move on and have a look at Cocoa, 178 report extreme in large speculators. Bearish extreme, no question about that. Wonderful, wonderful. You see, that's exactly what I was telling you at the beginning of this video. I'm more interested in COT extremes. They're uh, more reliable. I'd say, okay, you got to be patient and they do take time to develop. But uh, once they do, they are unique opportunities. And last but not least, US dollar index i accidentally clicked at the energy complex so dollar index bullish extreme bullish extreme we had that last week you can see it did push the market higher uh there's space left for reaching even greater extremes but it doesn't have to be the case we don't always need a all-time or close to all-time extreme you just need a relatively stronger extreme and the fact that it has been 108 almost you know 108 reports more than two years since uh, traders were at these levels that in itself i would consider uh significant enough now there's much more to do here at cotbase.com of course the cot reviews are giving you a brief glimpse of what's going on in the cot reports uh cotbase.com we offer of course all the uh, markets uh, that uh, cftc publishes cot report on uh, if you are interested in a, in a specific market, uh, let's say a currency, uh, you're interested, we're talking about the dollar index, so dollar index, there you go. You can actually dive into the data in, in more depth. So a certain a data set that you're looking for, you have it here. You can actually open a chart on that. It's possible uh, to do that. You can actually um, download, export the data in different formats. Uh, if you're somebody who uses Ninja Trader, then uh, we do have the COT Base Pro indicator offering you everything you see on the, the website uh, that you can use in Ninja Trader. And then, of course, I talked about the ICOT intraday indicator having a after signal version. That's what you just saw in this uh, example. What it does basically, it, it uh, filters out uh, the sig signals. You can see that throughout this time period in crude oil, we did not receive a buy. This is the time when it gives you a buy signal. So it's, it's a great uh, add-on, the ICOT intraday indicator to, to really filter out unnecessary uh, signals, uh, helps you uh, get into the market. So there's a lot to do here at cotbase.com. We still have the summer sale uh, uh, going on um, throughout the entire summer, uh, some significant deals over here. Um, I do appreciate your attention. Thank you very much for being with me. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope to see you in my next COT review. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Goodbye.